Good morning, folks. We've got a very focused show today. Major earthquake predicted, major weather dropped and forecast for tonight. Three significant solar science stories to close, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with coronal holes continuing to dominate on the south. Tiny bright spots practice their activation and crackling for the sunspot maximum show to come, almost graduation time. The solar wind continues to drop in speed. Plasma density is relatively stable, and so the descending intensity has brought about more geomagnetic silence the last few hours. Well, folks, we had a big earthquake strike Russia overnight, actually downgraded to 7.5 from the initial 7.8 reading. For those posting the alert maps from the Disaster Prediction app, please link in the comment section today any posts you did of the map last night. It was very clustered red alerts, including dead center on the 7.5. There was a blot echo yesterday in nearly that exact region, and powerful lows have been spinning overhead with them forecast to continue. That's how you predict earthquakes. It's why the region was on alert and a big clap for QuakeWatch.net user Lester, who nailed the location on the dot within the timeline and was just slightly off on the magnitude. We'll come back to that black star over Italy in a moment, but first we had a tornado drop out of the convergence line storms running through northern Mississippi and Alabama. Considerable damage in the hardest hit areas. We're going to watch the entire sequence from yesterday morning through the tornado making storms. Last little pop up of activity was a strong one. Here it is one more time, zoomed in and with the short wave return excluded, just the lightning. One of the top alerts for the coming hours falls on Italy, where the low cell here puts the recent blood echoes back in my mind for the region and the other southeast portions of the continent. When the low arrives, the black star activates and the China alert will shrink. Indeed, the electromagnetic emissions are what we're tracking to make these alert zones. The electric data is arduous, rarely real-time, and never forecast very well, but the deep quake, blot echoes, and the atmospheric signals in the weather are immediate and can be forecast. They are straight up blaming 20 to 30 kiloamp currents in the global electric circuit for triggering the Japan quake. This is a good moment to shift to the sun, because the solar electric circuit model of sunspots ain't so bad either. A new model is showing the full-scale subphotospheric field structure, and it would indeed mirror a number of atmospheric forms you see on Earth. And just like the global electric circuit, it flows up from points and back down to others. And of course, when those sunspots become very active, we get tremendous eruptive activity. 2003 Halloween was a monster. And in a new paper, we are getting some confirmation about the importance of density over velocity. I hope you recall we recently saw that paper definitively pegging density as what matters for major geomagnetic storms. And here, they're saying you can't rely on flare number or solar wind speed, basically coming around from the other angle. There's the density and magnetism of the stream to consider much more heavily. Last but not least, folks, Avi Loeb getting in on his 8 billionth paper in the last two years, helping us to see the sun in what should be a familiar way. The Earth's magnetic field is blown back by the solar wind, just like you see in my logo. And the solar magnetic field, the heliosphere, is blown back from the galactic center as the galactic ion wind streams past and the galactic magnetic fields drape over the system. Of course, veterans will tell you that this might be one of the most important physics interaction points in human existence, but we've got a couple links below the video and at our website to give you more on that. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.